those of you wanting to know how a pump works, there's really two parts. The first part is nipple stimulation. By stimulating the nipple, we encourage the production of a hormone called oxytocin, and this helps the milk to be released from the breast. Once the milk starts flowing, the pump will create a vacuum and draw milk out of the breast, and this will be collected into the bottle. Lots of mothers ask me how long to pump for. I usually recommend 15 minutes, much longer than that, and you'll make the nipple and areola quite sore. You can either pump for 15 minutes all in one go, or you can pump for five minutes and have a short pause, and then pump again for another five minutes. The important thing is to try different combinations to see what results in more milk being collected. Some people choose to exclusively pump and give their baby breast milk and not breastfeed directly. To do this, you need to pump your breast regularly, and some people will be able to do this by just pumping four times in 24 hours, some people will have to pump as many as eight times. But also it's important to avoid the breast becoming full and uncomfortable, which might decrease your milk supply. Pumping gives you the flexibility to be able to give your baby a bottle of milk while you're out and about. To achieve this, you need to start with a bottle of milk before you go out. You can collect the milk steadily over a few days before you go out by pumping after several feeds just to collect enough milk for this bottle. So your baby's having this bottle of milk that you've previously pumped, but your breast is still producing milk for this feed. So within a couple of hours of the missed feed, it's very important that you pump the milk out. This makes sure that the breast tissue becomes soft and doesn't get too full and uncomfortable, which could decrease your milk supply going forward. The amount of milk the breast produces varies significantly from woman to woman. So don't be disheartened if your friend's producing much more milk than you are when she pumps. The amount of milk you produce is affected by many different factors, one of which is the time of day. Lots of women get more milk between midnight and midday, so this is a good time to pump. When you last actually pumped or fed the baby will make a difference to how much milk you collect. The longer you leave it, the more you will collect, but be careful not to leave it so long that you steal milk from the next feed. The emotional state can also affect the amount of milk that you collect, for example, stress and exhaustion. Sadly, this is exactly where we all are as new mums. Breast capacity will also make a difference to how much milk you can collect. This isn't to do with breast size, it's to do the actual milk making tissue in your breast. Breasts come in all different shapes and sizes. Areola and nipple can be big or small. It's really important that the breast shield is the right size for your body and your nipple. This will affect the amount of milk you collect, so the quality and fit of the pump is a really important factor. It's really important to try and make the most of a pumping session to collect as much milk as possible. Adrenaline can reduce the milk release, so trying to be in a calm environment will help. In the early days, you can use a warm, wet washcloth on your breast. This is before the pumping session and this will help the milk to flow. To help release the milk, massaging the breast is a good technique to use. Before you start pumping, massage the breast and then do a little pumping session. You can stop in the middle and do more massaging and then continue to pump the milk. To do a good massage technique, just try different strategies and see if pressing in different areas works. And if you need advice, you can speak to your breastfeeding advisor.